All right, everyone, welcome to today's video. So today's video is just a continuation of my last video talking about AR crit chance builds. And if you didn't see that video, then ah, you're not missing much. It's probably going to be the same discussion because my goal is to kind of talk about the idea and the mindset behind making a crit chance build and the usual uh, different variations that you can use. Now, this particular build is far from finished because I'm holding off. I'm supposed to be, I thought I had a, you know, a Douglas on Harding knee pads that had hard hitting, but apparently I do not have one and I thought I did. And so what I have is all kinds of pieces all over the place. I have ones with nice crit chance and then they have like, you know, patience, which I don't want patience as crazy as that sounds. I know for some people they're like, you don't want patience. I don't <laughs> because it's not going to work in this build. It needs uh, about six, isn't it? Patience needs about six of your um, defensive. And so, yeah, running clutch, you need only you need a four, four or less. And so I'm already at my max. And so that's it. Now, if you watch my old video, the build is pretty much just a rehashed or recycled build using three central pieces. And those three central pieces are my chest piece, my gloves and my backpack. Now, in reality, though, the central pieces are actually your chest piece and your gloves, because with something like Wyvern, if you're doing the Wyvern version, you have the Wyvern backpack. But if you're doing the Douglas Harding version, which is this version that I'm showing you, then you do have three central pieces. Now, Douglas Harding does have some really, really cool stuff, and we're going to look at it in this build. Now, looking at weapons first, let's look at the P416, 25,200 damage. Uh, pretty much any SMG at this point will work. I would prefer to run like an MP7, but this just has higher RPM and is going to give me more bang for my buck. Transmission is good when you're playing uh, PvE. As crazy as it sounds, if it's holstered, you're just going to transfer shock to pretty much anybody that's uh, an NPC that's close to you in a sense. Um, also, I have this here, sidearm. Uh, in rhythm, all that good stuff. All right. Um, mask. This build is based on, you know, items that I have. And so this mask came with some other talent here, which I rolled hard hitting too, because I wanted hard hitting and I have only, you know, less than 3% crit chance, 35% damage to elite. So there's a struggle here. This, these numbers could be, you know, <laughs> I would say, uh, how am I going to put it? They could be astronomically different <laughs> or better, but this is what I have. You know, I go in my stash. I have so many items and I can make builds on the fly if I wanted to. Now, would they be min max? Not all the time. Would they be good? Oh, you darn right. They will be good. I ran this in a build yesterday. I actually have a video for it, but I don't know if I should put it up as gameplay. But if you guys do want to see gameplay, let me know in the comment section below. Um, also, this chest piece is a uh, Fenris chest piece. It has Berserk. It has Vital has 18,000 health, it has 3% crit damage, 9% weapon damage. I'm still here counting chickens thinking, should I increase the weapon damage or should I go full crit chance? I think the answer is quite obvious. This what these weapons are already hitting really hard. It's crit chance, but you know, I'm still I'm still just, you know, kind of marching around the issue and skirting around it like crazy. And then I'm going to go straight to the gloves. They are um what are their names? Alp Summit climbing gloves. I think there's another kind of Alp Summit gloves. Yes, and they are the hybrid FL gloves. And the reason you want to use the mountain climbing gloves is because I think the mountain climbing ones give you an offensive mod. Yes, that's why you want to go for those. So beware when you see a Alp Summit glove that has clutch and all that. Keep your hopes a little kind of, you know, breathe in and then make sure that they're the climbing gloves and then they have maybe the weapon attribute you want or maybe clutch. Those are some things that you you know you need to look at because like you see I have the hybrid gloves here but then a utility mod whereas this one allows for me to run an offensive mod here giving me extra weapon damage so this this these gloves by themselves are carrying about fifteen percent are they yeah fifteen and a half percent weapon damage and they're not fully optimized okay so that's what these Alps gloves are capable of Douglas Harding holster I'm using this holster this is the all thigh mag holster. There is the Morar, is that what it's called? Holster system that gives you one um, attribute. I think it mainly gives uh, offensive or the electronics attribute. I don't think I've seen one uh, that comes with the defensive. It might be out there. I just haven't seen it. And then this one, though, the Morar gives you a utility mod slot. So that's why I'm not using it. Instead, I'm using the Authy holster, which gives me the offensive mod slot, including two attributes where I can leverage health. That's why my health is actually quite, in my opinion, for a clutch build, 
I think it's as high as I could get it. Just, you know, pulling stuff out of my stash, not farming, oh, you know, over the course of months and weeks for it. I just was keeping these items just like, oh, that looks interesting. And then this capped out at 13% crit chance, I think because the health rolls out uh, high or something. I don't know why these things cap out. I'm not going to sit here and try to speculate, but that's all I could get. So I think that's all I'm going to take, whatever it is. Uh, knee pads is where I'm in a dilemma. I don't have enough materials right now to craft. You know, it's a good thing that we have these gear score 500 craftables that we can get to the crafting station and craft. But I did craft one that had high crit chance. I guess that's a good thing, but I just can't find one that has hard hitting. That's all I need. One with hard hitting and or, you know, or high crit chance. And then maybe like, uh, you know, some uh, a talent that doesn't require that's not like um, in a sense, passive that requires something like patience or something like with a chevron in the middle, whatever it is. And so that's where I am. So I can increase my, you know, damage to elites and just suffer a loss of about 4% crit chance for the moment. And that's fine. But you get the point. The point is to take a journey to increase my, you know, critical hit chance and critical hit damage and then go from there. Now, let's look at some weapon stats. Crit chance is at 37%. That's because my chest piece doesn't have any crit chance. Well, it doesn't have and yes, it doesn't have any crit chance at all. So that number could easily be increased if I rolled the 13% crit chance on there. That number is going to go straight to 50% if I did that. And I think I probably will. Like I said, I think the obvious answer is that. And then my crit damage is 39%. I need to go for some crit damage mods on here. But I like the damage to elites as well, which is kind of the struggle and all that good stuff. And then my damage release is about 68% if I'm using my AR. And then if I were using my SMG, I would have 63% damage to elites. And I think I'll have a little bit more crit damage and a little bit more crit chance. And so this is what I'm sitting on right now with the Douglas Harding. It's a little bit more challenging to build because you are limited to three pieces that can give you the Douglas Harding bonuses, which are accuracy 5% for one piece, 10% crit damage and 7% crit chance. And then, you know, you got to make sure your pieces are, you know, in line to give you whatever it is that you need. Now, yes, the P416 damage is kind of low compared to like my Eagle Bear. So there's no reason not to run the Eagle Bear. And I enjoy running it because in all reality, you know, I, I was <laughs> running all over the place looking for this weapon and a buddy of mine gave it to me and after he you know gotten about three different drops and after about 15 raids that i'd done i don't know how many maybe even more you know this is the one that i finally have and i'm really thankful to have it so i'm going to run the thing and i'm going to use it for missions it's a good build um so far and it's not even min maxed i'm still working on min maxing it but for those of you who are curious about what a an ar crit chance build can look like you are definitely uh, on on the way to doing it, if you're able to get yourself these three pieces that are decent and then start to look for the specific, um, I would say, anchors of a Douglas Harding crit chance build, which are your backpack, your gloves and your chest piece. They could be anything, uh, but, you know, preferably you want to stay here with the uh, Fenris in order to get that 10 percent assault rifle damage. That's pretty much where you're going to be getting more base damage. And it's too much to actually kind of put aside. I didn't show you one thing about this finish chest piece. It actually has an offensive mod slot too, which is crazy. Gives me a whole bunch of damage as well. So weapon damage, crit chance, some damage to elites can get more damage to elites. If I were to go, maybe a better, if I get maybe a better mask someday, <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be crazy though, to get a Douglas Harding mask that had higher damage to elites and then hard hitting. And all I had to deal with was crit chance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm not trying to jinx myself, but that would be hard to get. I didn't show you my backpack. I'm sorry. Backpack, 10% weapon damage, 5.5% crit chance, damage to elites here, an offensive and a defensive mod slot as well. So these are the items that I have, and this is what I'm building currently. So let me hear what you think in the comment section. If you have a Douglas Harding build that you're working on, and if you have some tips that you want to share, I guarantee you that people who are interested are going to be reading comments in the comment section, and I guess we can have that conversation. All right, I'll be out of your hair. Thank you very much for your time and your audience, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace.